<clears throat> Dang, y'all are on it already. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the live. We'll get some people in here and we'll get started. What's up, Michael? What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing good tonight. So we're down here in the office doing some quotes on some boats. And I figured I'd do a live. I was going to put up a video tonight. But those are going to start tomorrow. i got to let you guys know what we're getting ready to do with videos and what we're doing between now and mats and all that. So... Get some people in here and then we'll go up to the shop. Yeah, it sucks, man. We'll be back over there soon though. We're going back over. As soon as we get the truck up running and driving, we got to go up to Rob's and do some stainless work. And then um, we're going to do, go back over to Fitzgerald and, uh, get everything ready yes i'm from tennessee oh i'm exhausted guys <laughs> sorry i'm just wore out this truck is wearing us out it is uh we got a lot going on and I'm going to take you guys to the shop. There's no way I could do a video on an update video because there's so much going on. So I was like, screw it. I'll just do it live and then uh, kind of tell you guys what we got going on and what we're planning on doing between now and Matt's. Oh, Steve's on here. That's something else. I was getting ready to show you guys, Steve. Um, so, guys, I want to see Steve hit 100,000 subscribers. I was hoping to see it today. I put a community post up. He is so close. 99.9. .9. Let's make it happen on this live. Let's see FSC hit 100,000 subscribers. If you are not subscribed to this channel... He took our videos of escorting that boat and made them awesome. I think I need to hire him as an editor. So, some awesome videos, I can tell you that. There's them two trucks that got gapped by a rooster. Uh, the boat move went awesome with Steve. We had a good time. I'm getting ready to do another big one, and I'm definitely going to be... Um, I'm going to be uh, hiring Steve to escort another one. There's a lot of haters on there talking crap, but... Them guys don't understand. A lot of people don't understand what it takes to move one of those boats. And the biggest issue... Like, I hold traffic back, but I run the speed limit, and which everybody else should be running the speed limit. I do not hold up traffic, but you get beside that boat, just the mass on the side of that boat, $750,000. And they come up beside that thing and hit, hit it. You know, I got to make sure I've got room to play. So that's the thing. We got to make sure you're safe and you got room to play. And, um, you know, we've always had successful boat deliveries, right? Had anybody, had anybody hit them? Oh, there's a lot of hate on them videos, but you know what? We just deliver them successful, and we get her done. So here's the video from... Uh, 
So guys, if you are not subscribed, like I would love to see it hit 100,000 subscribers while we're on here. Come on, baby. Oh, we just did it. 100,000 right there, baby. Good job, guys. Congratulations, Steve. You just done it, brother. 100,000 subscribers. Thanks, Gordon, for subscribing. Heck yeah, guys. That is awesome for Steve. I bet he's jumping for joy right now. He deserves it for sure. Bandit, don't undo it. We just got it. <laughs> Come on. Heck yeah, man. That is so cool. Man. All right. 100,000 subscribers. Well, that's the first thing we needed to accomplish tonight, which he was close. He was, this morning it was at, I can't remember what it was at. It was like 99 point something this morning. Which there was some crap talking on the community post. Let me go check it out. Let me see if I can find the community post. Let's go see if we can see some crap talking comments. All right, so we were at 99.8 earlier, so. All right. Rooster, all that beautiful coal. Incredible channel, loves these videos. Real good channel. That's the best trucking channel on YouTube, hands down. I agree 100%. Steve thinks he always talks me up, but he's really got a good channel. His editing's went to the next level here lately. Been there for a couple years now. Definitely deserve it. Yep. Uh. Yes, we did. We stirred the haters up on these videos, baby. That's what I'm talking about. They'll get over it. Yep. Steve, you got a plaque coming, bro. All right. Let's go. And you got the Jesse and Company channel. You guys go over and give them some love too. They're building a truck. They, I think, uh, they wanted a little competition with us, but I went a little overboard. But um, Lee did an awesome job on that paint. I will, Rob. I talked to Rob about it the other day. He said Lee did an awesome job on that paint. So this is. Rob's brother's truck, 379 Peterbilt. They're building it. I don't know if they're going to make it to match or not. It's tough to try to make that show, especially with all the work that's got to be done. But um, go check that channel out. A lot of trucking channels, baby. Weston got the new Demon 170 in the video. All right, anyways, let's get back to our live. All right, Bonnie. Dang, we're at 920. All right, so let me catch up on some comments and we'll go up to the shop. Yep, still have the flatbed F-250. A lot of haters on the live the other night. I'm glad we put that video up of me painting. I mean, I bet you that torqued them haters up, baby. Bobby, I'll let you know. We'll do some lunch or something. Yep, everybody. I'm so glad Steve got to hit 100K. That's awesome. Uh, 
Um, yeah, Steve had a 379 like Rooster at one time with a C16 in it. Oh, these comments. Yeah, if I ever got rid of Rooster, Steve would be the one. He'd need to drive that truck. So we're almost 250,000 subscribers. And then we're going to go, we're going to talk about what our plan is between now and Matt's. And we're going for a million this year. We're not going for two. We're not going for 300 or 500. We're going for a million. Yeah, we're at 249 right now. Um, let me see where we're at. I'd say we'll hit 250 by Matt's. Um, Weston's been sharing some stuff on his Instagram. Once he comes down, I'm sure. All right, let's see, Tim. Subscriptions. Let's see what I got. Your channel. Yeah, we're at 249. So I would say we will be hitting 250 real soon. I hope so. I hope you guys enjoyed the little race car live the other night. I'm actually going to make a video on that whole deal. And I've got Nick from Hustle and Horsepower still here. We're doing some work to his toter home. And uh, he's helping me with the Mustang too. Um, Uh, Yellow P, we sold it to Fitzgerald's. I'm actually looking at buying some new trucks right now, but we'll talk about that at a later date. It's time. We're going to upgrade some trucks this year. And we kind of slowed down. I'm re redoing the company right now, kind of changing some things in the company to, uh, you know, with what our plans are. Um, no, I didn't turn, forget to turn the switch on. I just flipped it back off. I flipped the wrong switch. I was trying to flip my water pump and fan switch because the for some reason one of the switches is messed up and it won't stay over. So I went to flip that switch and move a wire off the shifter and I guess I just clicked the nitrous button. Yeah, that little car put a lot of people on notice. I mean, it's... Uh, I've had like three or four people try to buy it since that race and we got invited to a whole bunch of more stuff. Like it, it definitely put us on the map to go to the finals and we had have won that deal. That was my night to win. I mean, that orange car spun the tires. If I'd had nitrous on, he'd have had to chase me down and I think he would have, he wouldn't have had a chance to pedal it and catch it up or gather itself up and I'd, I'd been gone. So it is what it is. I made a mistake. But you guys will see on the video, I got a video, did a really good video on that whole thing. So I'll put it out one day this week. All right, let me get out of here before we get demonetized. Yeah, we treat him pretty good. I don't know that he was cheating. He just got, um, I mean, that car, that orange car is really, I don't feel like, so it'd be like me taking my white car up here to, uh, and putting it in a streetcar class. It's not really f fair for the streetcar guys that can jump in their car and drive it anywhere. You know, drive it 50, 100, 150, 200 miles. Kind of like Cletus putting his car in a streetcar class. So, but it ain't cheating. It's, it's a gray area. You know, he fits the rules, I guess. So, really can't say much. I know one thing, I'd rather beat a car like that than... And I really wanted to just re-race him. 
I did offer to put a thousand dollars on top of the pot or just a thousand dollar grudge race after that deal just because I wanted to see if I could beat that car. I mean, the money would have been awesome, but like I really wanted to know if that little red car would have beat that orange car. Money or not, but he could have won another thousand dollars. So that would be like me taking this thing um, and putting it in a streetcar class. And it is no longer, I mean, it's, you can see it's a full uh, race car now. It's still stock suspension location, but it's, I mean, you guys can see it's four linked, which Fox Body's come factory four linked, which is the gray area and the rule set. The white car is back. Everybody's been asked, Aston. About the white car. Here it is. This car will, when it's done, the red car won't stand a chance against it. We're planning on going over 200 with this thing and running sixes in the quarter. So this thing's a full-blown race car now, though. It ain't a street car anymore. So we still got a, there's a lot of work left to do. And I got Nick down here helping me from Hustling Horsepower. Yep, so this thing's pretty much pro mod now. I mean, it is a full-blown race car. Full, cha it's three-quarter chassis now. Um, and this thing, I mean, it should run sixes in the quarter pretty easy i'm planning on putting a steve morris um twin turbo big block in it so she should be pretty nasty uh nick's trying to talk me into getting something um different like he's he wants to do something cool and different we've been talking about doing some stuff together but if you guys have been wondering where it's at got our funny car cage in it now The plan is Steve Morris motor, twin turbos, make it nasty. Check this thing out, guys. This thing is so cool. It is so little. Little jet boat. We thought about doing a twin turbo coyote, but I'm just I'm not real up to date on Ford stuff and it'd be like changing over. There's Nick there. Nick's pretty much joined the crew over here now. We're live. We're live. All these fox bodies around here. Fox bodies everywhere. I don't know. It's like a little fox den. Start getting rid of them one by one. <laughs> okay. Well, this one's definitely going. So we're getting ready to get this one. Uh, Nick's got a plan to get this thing going, and we're going to get rid of it. Find a new home for it. Yeah. And we're going to put all the money in, uh, in a race car. All race car. Yeah. Some race car. Something that goes fast. And there's the red mule. That sucker's impressive. I'm super happy with it. Now while we, we get it straightened up, we're getting a little scramble button on it now to... In case something ever happen, happens like the other night, we got... Um, At least you'd have one kit. 
Yeah. At least you'd have something to... If I'd have just had a little help the other night, we'd have been fine. It'd be nice to have two buttons up there. One for the big kit, one for the scramble. We can do it. It's not too hard. A little foxy. We just put a second input into the... A splice into the input for the Holly system. And have two activation points. One could be on a timer and one could be an override button. I'm excited to see what we can do with it. So Thursday we've got a, a list race in Knoxville, top 10 list. And we're hoping to take this thing to number one on the list. I think it's got potential to do it. I sure hope. It surprised the heck out of everybody, didn't it? I wish I could have been up there and put a, put a couple of bucks on it. I know it. Put $50 a pass on it or something like that. It's a red bone fox hound, they said. But yeah, so if guys, if somebody wants to buy this thing, I don't know, what do you think this thing is what? They said price it. Might we'll have to come up with a number. Yeah, we'll come up with a number. And uh, if you're interested, just hit me up on like Facebook or Instagram or um, call the uh, tow phone. Or you can do a waffle on it and yeah let let someone that might not have the budget to buy it outright have them have a chance at it too yeah do like that they could jump around in and have a fun little street strip car that was one pretty damn good i think this is going to be a fun little car they said it made like seven eight hundred horse that's a lot of power it is and like nowadays like a thousand horsepower is fairly easy to come by so the 500 800 horsepower cars kind of get scoffed at but so many people haven't actually felt like a real 500 or 800 horses. Like, it's a fun ride. Like, you get yourself in plenty of trouble with five, 700 horses. Yeah, sorry guys. We were, uh, it was trying to connect to Wi-Fi. Hello. Hey. Hey. Did you, uh, say you got all the wet that dash and stuff out that other end of west? Yeah. Yeah, I got everything to make it a complete cab. Well, I need to make a cab outlet to uh, take to the show. Um, get that. We should have it. We should have it gutted tomorrow completely. Well, you have it gutted completely, and you come up that dry shaft. Uh, you bring it up with you. I can do that probably. As long as I don't come tomorrow. Well, either way, if you come tomorrow, don't get that dry shaft. You gotta have yep. it. So. Uh, All right. Well, I'm doing a lot. I don't know how much you like it on on the westerns. Yeah. Uh, All right. You know, whatever you want to do, as much right. as you can. And while they're fixing the uh, stainless on it, we'll be fixing the rest of it. Right. I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm on a live. Let me do this live. I'll call you back. All right, see. See. Oh, Rob. All right, this is the interior, guys. It's a nice car. It's a super nice car. It's got a... It's set up just like the other red one, except it's turbo flow. Yeah, it's got a little turbo flow on it. Yeah, it's got it's a turbo flow. Like the other red one. Yeah, it's got a turbo flow on it. And, um, battle boxes, everything. We'll put a price on it, but let's go in the shop and see what we got going on. All right, I'm not going to say too much of thing. I'm not going to get into uh, specifics on what all we've got done. You guys will probably see a lot, but I don't want to ruin the videos coming out. I did that the other night during the videos. It's shorts weather up here, dude. It's so nice. Not bad. I'm in shorts today, guys. The shorts and hoodie weather. Not yeah, Rob's going. Weather. Rob's doing all the stainless on this thing for mats. Here it is. We're back in the shop. 
We still got a lot of parts laying over here though. Use that bracket or a different one? I made one. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, that other one was fine. We're still probably gonna have to paint it blue. Right. I painted the hood. Yeah, the black does help. So we got the dash in, guys. Now this has been a like literally a two day project. It has been crazy. Which we'll, we'll show the process. We did a bunch of time lapses on it and videos and the wiring. All this, it's all been changed. Everything. It was plumbed down like this right here two days ago. It's all work, ain't it? That was easy, 40, 50 pounds of wiring, right? Oh, yeah. Well, right here's some of the harness. No, that's the whole harness we ripped out of this one. Yeah, so here's a whole harness. So, yeah, all this come out of the cab, every bit of it. All this, yeah, that's easy, 50 pounds. It's crazy. Guys, let's get the locks up. There's a new radiator and stuff going in it. Um, here's like, there's so many more parts over here. Um, we'll give you a little sneak peek at some of the stuff we got going on. New tank straps, steps. Um, we've already got a visor painted, which we got it both ways. Rob wants to do a stainless visor, and we got a painted visor, so we're going to try both ways. What are you doing? Yeah. You're just taking a nap? Yeah. It must be nice to get a nap in. Oh, let's see. Um, we're trying to get all the interior done. We got the doors together. I like the front interior. You like those? Yeah, we're going to do that to the back ones too. Um, I'll show you guys a little bit. Oh, crap. I haven't wear it. It's so hard to walk with the phone and not shake it. Hey. Yeah. Don't shut that door. I ain't shutting it. So here's the front doors. We just got these done. So Michael and Belinda done these. Same people that do, like you see, probably see them on the Fitch, the semi-casual channel. So we're just trying to do some like little details and stuff, like do something a little different. You know, simple but different. And then uh, the dash, that was a big thing. That we it, So hard to find a really good 379 dash. But it is all wired up. Like we are, we we're wired up to the N14 now. That was our, that was my biggest worry is getting wired up to this N14 because that was going to take us the longest. But we are hooked up. Now if we put power to it and it goes smoothly, <laughs> which it should, we shouldn't have no issues. Steve just hit a hundred thousand subscribers. FSC. Thank you. Vance said, "No way, it's going to Matt's, bro. Oh, easy, easy going. easily going to Matt's." That's a run out of money. If I run out of money, it might not. But as of right now, we're okay. 
This was the biggest thing we were worried about is getting this dash in. Everything else is pretty simple. He's got the full gauge package, though. We went... Like, there's the whole deal. <clears throat> yes, son. Uh, not here soon. So, Dash is in it. It's 80% in it. We still got some more, but... Um, you got to put some... Uh, all the controls in it. Finish the bottom. Put steering column... Finish the interior. Yeah, Weston's over the top of this thing. He just never could have imagined it being like this. I ain't neither one of us can afford to build a truck like this. We've just made it happen. Piece by piece, just collecting stuff up, and it's taken some time, but we've... Uh, Managed to come up with every piece so far. <coughs> Guys, FCR is not a mechanic shop. Like we took the truck there to get painted and that's what happened. We went and got the truck painted, got all that done and now it's back here getting built. So many people's on there like, oh, I'm so glad they're building the truck or, you know, you're, it's, you're so crappy for making them finish the truck and all that stuff. Most shops take their trucks and have paint jobs done in other shops. I mean, that's pretty normal. And it was a good business opportunity for both of us. They've got a channel now. It's got almost 20,000 subscribers on it. And we've got an amazing looking truck. I mean, we got it painted by the best in the business. It just takes it that much further. So big opportunities, both places, helps two businesses. Created a lot of relationships, and now we've got a truck to build. Ask Steve, we get eight just because, I mean, people don't want to see people be successful, especially somebody that comes from nothing. I mean, I think nine times out of ten, it's somebody that just ain't got the gumption to get off their butt and do it themselves. That's a 389 like, the find. glider. That's the glider one. These are hard to find, and I found one, so I snagged it. Luckily, that's a 2017 frame, so it already has a hole for it. Yep. That's what we put on Rooster. Yeah. And it, like, cleans the engine bay up so much. Yeah. It is. Gets rid of all that's this. That's the um, power steering. Resident. Yep. I like these better, too, because they have a filter inside of them as well. They're not just... Yeah. Yep. The more the the more you grow, the more haters you're gonna get. And I mean all of my YouTube friends told me from the beginning, hey, the bigger you get, the more haters you get. But your channel ain't growing. If you ain't got haters, you ain't your channel's not growing. It just ain't. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a good thing when you see them on their hating. Are you missing what? No, it's just over there. Yes, Drew said there was a comment on your last video, Tim, that said you don't have any passion for trucking. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Have him take a walk around the yard. Yeah. I mean, my boxers have Peterbilt's on them. Or Freightliners. I got Freightliner boxers, Peterbilt boxers. I ain't got no Volvo boxers, but... Now, we get tired around here. We got a lot of, like, the business takes a lot of our time up. Like this right here. Um, this thing has to go out tomorrow, and there's a crap ton of work that's got to be done to it. 
Um, we had services all day today. If this all we had to do, if we had unlimited budget, if somebody wanted a truck bill and we had an unlimited budget and the money to do it, it would go as fast as we're going with this truck right now. That We didn't have that with this truck. But you got unlimited budget and um, you can take it and just like being able to use FCR, like if that's something you can do in a build, uh, be able to take it to an outside paint shop. You know, we had to get the interior built and, you know, just the paint job, paint job and interior, that's $100,000 on a truck like this. So if you got unlimited budget and can spend all your time on it, it'll come together really fast. Especially once you get everything done, which is what, how we did it. We just got everything done and in place and parts. So we got this going on. We got Braxton. We're going to do a video on Braxton. Or this is my Argosy, actually. But Braxton's pretty much decided he's going to take control of it. But um, We got the 359 back together. We had a little bit of an issue. We had to pull the head back off of it. This was, it was the stupidest thing, too. Did you get head Yeah. Yeah, so we got to put another head. We had a little problem with the heads on this thing. So we got to put another head back on it. And then, but it does run. Uh, the, the other Argosy, I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. Insurance has been, so this is my first ever insurance claim, guys. As many people think we can get all this insurance money. But this boat deal is my first insurance claim ever, ever in my entire life. And it's been a nightmare. This is one reason I hate insurance companies. You know, they want your money every month or every year, or however. Um, but uh, when it comes for them to pay out, this has been a nightmare. And then I thought I'd be able to buy that other Argosy back pretty cheap. Uh, they want just as much for it as they're wanting to give me to buy it back. And they only wanted to give me like $45,000 for it. And I was like, you've lost your mind. I said, you can't, I can't even think about replacing this truck for $45,000. Uh, there's no toolboxes in the middle yet. We're still getting him there. He did clean his toolbox up, though. Organized it. So the way we done it for this project is we cut the shop off in half. Believe it or not, it was super, super clean and organized the other day, which is still ain't too bad, but yeah, this is all Wesson's truck, everything right over here, all the parts. Yeah, there you go. That does look a lot better. Yeah, it looks good. I've never cleared spray paint before, but I tried it today, and I was like, hey, that's pretty good. What? Yeah, this is the head we had a problem with. I don't know if it's a head or a head gasket. It could be the head. Either way, I'm putting a different head on it. You said it was this right here. No, I think it's the actual head. Where's the original one? This is the head. We just had it rebuilt. Guys, we don't have time to paint that motor. Just do not have time to paint the motor right now. We might paint it after the show or something. But it is not getting painted before the show. 
You see, we got all this crap sitting over here. I'm getting ready to cover the hood up. We just had to take it off. Oh, you guys are going for 250K on the channel tonight? We're at 249, or we were at 249. I would die if me and Steve both hit two, or he, I hit, he hit 100 and I hit 259. That'd be so awesome. We're possibly bringing Johnny Cash. Yep, we did make a video of the race. Taylor over here did awesome tuning the whole time until his buddy let him down. All you had to do is hit the knockers. I don't Do you want to hear it. <laughs> we had it in the bag, too. I agree. It's 100% my fault. I'm an idiot. This thing's all stickered up. We've about got enough people in here. I'm going to tell you guys what our plan is. I'm not going to ban the haters. I just It depends on how bad they get. If they say something about Brax, like I can't stand that. You come on here and say something about my kid or cuss or say something rude or negative that a kid can't see, then, you know, I've got to delete that. I've got to get that off the channel. But like if you're just criticizing me, I mean, criticize me all you want. You can say whatever you want about me. I'm a big boy. I can care less what people think about me. Um... I know what my trucking company does, my bank account does, what we are capable of, and that's really how it matters to me. I can sleep at night, I'm happy, and what else is there? Huh? Racing? You want to go racing? I'll trade you trucks. You want to trade me trucks? Say no, we want to go racing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Nick down here. Um, we're getting ready to do some stuff to his toter and uh, see if we can get his channel booming. His car is insane. Like, I had so much fun racing with him. We'll do it some more. Yeah, definitely. We'll more. We got some plans. You unload it with it? Have you unloaded to burn out? <laughs> we can unload it tomorrow or something like that. Get it warmed up. We'll do it around the house. Dude, we got a burnout pad. We just have to move that trailer. I bet you that thing would slaughter a set of tires in about 10 seconds. Hey, bro. That's what the 3030 is going to do. When we bring that car back, we'll have some fun street driving with it, burnout contest it, whatever. You can have fun with it. Yeah. When you start going like real, real fast, like the car like, has one purpose. But the dirty 30, that was fast. And fun to drive. Go to town in it. Me, Maddie, and Rex, we jump in that thing, drive an hour to dinner. Just, like, just go do it. Oh, Nick's a super intelligent guy. This He is so smart. Him and Taylor become pretty good buddies, too. It takes a lot to impress Taylor. And he's like, man, I, he's like, I'm impressed with that guy. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm good with it. Let's see if we can blow it up. <laughs> this this summer I'm gonna put the dirty thirty back together and I'll take you take you for a ride in it. We can sit in the back seat with Rex. We'll go do some donuts. Oh yeah, it was a four it had back seats in it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, we had a lot of fun with that thing. We were at this one track in Ohio, and the uh, the owner's brother-in-law like wanted to go for a ride. And so I asked the owner, I was like, well, what kind of ride can I give him? He's like, give him a real ride. So I was like, he's sitting in there, and there's no back seat, the seat belts back there, but I had the seat all the way in the back. So I wanted to do it, so I put the seat all the way back so we could talk, still toss a cooler and stuff like that up in the front. So instead of like having the seat where the doors were, I shoved it away in the back. And he's sitting back there, and I go up, and like, do a little burnout with him, and he's like, "What are you gonna do?" I was like, "Not saying nothing." And I brought the thing out, bow, and launched it. He carried the wheels for probably like 60 feet, and he's just back there, 
and he he did this little um, he had a YouTube channel as well, and he, his phone almost flew off the back window. He's just laying back there, and like, I don't know, it made a half track hit. It went like I think it went a 350 or something like that to the 330. So like it was getting pretty good, and uh, yeah, he was uh, he was hooked with it ever since because he never did any of the drag racing stuff. He was uh, his brother-in-law owned the racetrack and his sister owned the racetrack, but uh, he was just out there having some fun and doing some of the social media stuff. But uh, yeah, that was the first time he ever went for a ride in anything relatively quick, and we carried the tires for about 60 feet, and he was just loving it after that. Dude, we, <clears throat> we just hit 65 million views on YouTube. 65 million? I'm at 2 million. I need to step my game up. <laughs> That's so cool. 65 million. Dang, I didn't even know that. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Like you can't even put that in perspective. 65 million. Mm -hmm. That is insane. Can you imagine like what Cletus's is or something though? Or Stupid. Weston's? Mm -hmm. Probably billions. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about this other day, right? And you're at what? 300 and... No, we're 249. We're trying to hit 250. 250-ish? Yeah, almost 250. Where are we at? Um, yeah, we're going to War in the Woods. 249 still? All right, guys. We got enough people on here. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go subscribe. Let's see if we can hit 250 tonight. We got Steve just hit 100,000, so it'd be cool on the same live to do both. 249 still. Got to refresh it. Let's see, Steve just sent me a thing. Yep, he hit 100,000. That's freaking awesome. Come on, baby, 250. All right, we got enough people in here. Oh, I'm tired, yep. Everybody's tired. It's been... Seven days a week. And business this week has whooped my butt. Weston's at 330 million views. 330 million views. 330 million. Like, you can't even put that in, like, this, I can't even put that into perspective. It's crazy. Like, three million subscribers. Like, there's never been, like, a singer or an artist, right, that has done a concert in front of, like, a tenth of that. Like that's that type of that type of eyes. Thirty five million. We're at sixty five million. That's crazy. I never. I was thinking about that the other day, like where we're at. But are you gonna do it? <clears throat> uh, Wes has got an N fourteen Cummins. Yeah, everybody go to the Hustle and Horsepower YouTube channel. And hit the subscribe button. If you like drag racing. Living the race car hippie life. Who is that? Sammy. Oh, Sammy. I am not. No, we're not. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> no, heck no. I got my hair trimmers in the car. If we hit the tonight, I'll shave his beard. Actually, I'd probably give you like a Fu Manchu or something. Wouldn't that be funny? What would your dad look like, look like with a baby face? Like Braxton. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If you don't see me without a beard, right there you go. He'd look like Braxton. <laughs> I do. 
You guys kind of are like twins. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. This thing will be tuned. Just get a big turbo and all that stuff on it. And, you take more naps. Um, yep, Fitzgerald just hit 18.2. They're going to hit 20,000 pretty quick, I'm pretty sure. Their channel's booming. Yeah, I can't wait till you guys see the actual frame color in person. It is wild. That's cool. American Dream, baby. So this is the old cab, guys. i seen a couple comments. It's been all to pieces. You can see right here, it's like, I don't know if you can see it in the video. Um, this is my father-in-law right here, Dave. I don't know how you've never met him. <laughs> They've been in about a million videos. All right, but anyways, so guys, so what we're thinking about doing, what we're wanting to try, we've been building up a lot of content and I've actually got some people helping me edit now and um, some new employees coming in this week. So lots changing here, like I was saying in the first of the video. A lot of changes for the company right now. We're doing some doing some upgrades, um, getting rid of some problems and bringing in some new people, some new upgrades. Um, we're going to try to take the business as long with the trucking company and uh, the truck building and all that stuff. Um, you know, you guys know the reason I built this truck or even took this project on before the shop burnt was to uh, to take. You know, I want to build trucks. As long as somebody has money up front and has the money to build a truck, and then we want to build trucks. We got to do it as a business, though, that makes money. It can't be a, um, you know, pay a thousand here or a thousand there. It has to be, you know, something we can come in, get the truck built, and get it back out. And there's certain things we can do a lot cheaper than most people, and, you know, get parts from certain you know just getting to work with companies like F fcr that right there um it benefits me and i'm building the truck and it benefits them and it benefits the customer so that's kind of why i went that direction you know i really want to paint my own trucks and i'm sure i'll get there one day but i need a nice paint booth i need the right equipment and paint my own trucks i'll definitely do that all day long but a customer's truck i want to be in a nice paint booth i don't care to paint it I feel like I can paint a truck. I just, you know, I want to be able to be nice. I want to have a nice setup when I do do it. But what we're wanting to do is for the, from now until Matt's gets here, till the day we go to Matt's, we're going to try to produce a video every single day, an update video on the truck build every single day. Um, an update on truck projects every day. Just like the old classic here, you guys know this thing blew up and it is back. And we did, we went and did something special with it again. So that video will be coming out. She's a beast again. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I don't know if I'm, I might make the classic my heavy haul truck now. Um, I do like to use Rooster, but that truck's comfortable. It's got a big bunk and all that stuff in it. So I'm thinking about making a classic something that I heavy haul with. Especially, we got a lot of big boats scheduled for after the Mid-America Truck Show. And a lot of guys want to see the Red Classic done. So that's another project I'm going to update y'all on. This is what's coming in after Matt's. We're bringing this in. We're going to finish it. Like right, literally just a comment right there. Where's the Red Classic? So there's the Red Classic. Um, we've got this project, which this is just one of our fleet trucks. Um, but it's blowed up. We're doing a Detroit swapping it. Um, Braxton's truck is, like I said, it's totaled. So it'll probably go to insurance. I might buy it back. Depends if they, if they get their price back to normal. Um
We've got Johnny Cash, which we're probably going to bring that truck to Matt's with us. It ain't going to be all fixed up and all that stuff, but it, it'll probably be there so everybody can see it. It'll probably be outside. Uh, Weston is coming to see it before Matt. He's actually coming to stay the week with us, and I'm going to try to get him to drive it up there. But no, he'll be here for Matt's. But we've got the Clyde truck coming. We've got this truck. This is our new giveaway truck. But it's got some issues. I've got to rebuild the motor in it. I'm not going to give away a truck that ain't got a new motor in it. So, um, waiting on parts to get here for it, like stacks, motor, parts, like in frame kit, all that stuff. I'll put a new head on it. Now that I run X15s, I just don't like them. Well, I've never liked them. They're a paperweight to me, but I know, you know, we've learned a lot of things about them how to make them better, how to make them last a little bit longer. And uh, so we're gonna do those things to that truck. And then what else we got? What other projects we got? Bonnie, we're getting ready to go to FCR and do a, another collab with them on it. Um, besides that, we got Rooster, which we're doing some upgrades to Rooster before Matt's as well. So we should be able to finish the blue truck hopefully next week so that'll give us a week to do the stainless on it get it buffed out you know just cleaned up and um and just shined up for the show and then we got time to work on braxton's truck and a few others but we're wanting to try to produce a video every day from now till mats and we've got the content just getting it out we got a lot of stuff around here getting ready to be done. Sorry guys, my phone is shaking, I'm trying to keep it still. So here's Bonnie. You guys know what happened to the fender. Semi-casual just painted us a fender for it. Cause it still is ugly. Yes, Braxton's Air Force truck will be at Matt's. Do you guys get an update on it on a video coming up pretty soon? Miles Reed, thanks for the super, brother. Uh, the Mustang did good on race day. Uh, let's see. Cletus has 1,415,000,000 views. Wow. That's crazy. Guys, we just hit 2,000. All right, if you're not subscribed, go check and see if you're subscribed because for some reason... Um, we're not uh, getting, like a lot of people's getting unsubscribed for some reason. Oh, I can't really show you guys too much of this yet, but you're going to see soon. You can see a little sneak peek of it. I can't, I just can't show y'all the bug yet. I promise you ain't ever seen nothing like it. It's the only one that exists in the world. It's up, Kalen, it's a good possibility. Uh, the burnout truck is right there. Oh, 
What does that say? Let's see. Uh, this is the Mac. If you have, this thing's been on the channel a few times. Yeah, I've been shadow banned a couple of times. That's why I try not to talk about politics or anything on the channel. Yeah, I seen your comment about how they wire the nitrous switch. Yeah, see, like so many people is gets unsubscribed. I don't understand how you get unsubscribed. But my, I was just checked the other day. I was unsubscribed to Cletus's channel. You got your last 10 running? Uh, so the towing side of the business, that's part, that's gonna be part of our uh, videos coming up for the next couple weeks. A lot of towing stuff. The tow truck's actually out working right now. It's been working all week. I ain't seen it all week. Or all last week either. We are working on getting a rotator, yes. Brax put her rear end in his S10, he put the wrong one in it. Look how wide it's sticking out. Why is it so wide? Is that out of a typhoon? Oh, no wonder. Typhoons are wider. We're gonna keep the blue wrecker. So I did decide we keep the blue wrecker um, for now. Um, he ain't got it ready for a burnout yet. Um, so we are keeping the blue wrecker for now. It's working. Like I mean, what, if it's working and we're bringing in business like we're getting, I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden people are calling left and right for us to do their towing. I mean, we're towing all the way over. Like, I had two calls from Nashville. I got to go to Murfreesboro and get a truck. Probably, I need to send it out to get it tomorrow. Uh, so, the wrecker's doing pretty good. I got to get a... My goal is to have a rotator, heavy wrecker, which is the blue truck, and then um, the rotator. Yeah, I said rotator, heavy wrecker, and um, a Zach lift. We get a Zach lift on Rooster, and that's why I'm thinking about using the Classic for heavy haul. Hey, Dad, you see my homemade nitrous kit? You got the nitrous kit on it? I got to put the wrong in it. Let's go see it. Let's see what you've done. It's Let's see what you've done, Braggs. Guys, we'll give you an update on the tow stuff. I can't, I, anything new has got to have its own video. Oh, is that where you put your kit? I ain't in the car. No. It's not designed, it's not there, and I'm running up. You gonna put a dry kit on it, or what? I just want me to do it after All right, when are we gonna see this? Grow the farm up. You said you're looking for somebody to build a 379 from the ground up. We will build one, but you've got to have the money to do it. He hasn't got uh, the dry shaft in it.
She is still alive. Huh? Why is it running rough? Uh, yes, Weston's truck's getting seats in the back, like recliner seats. Steve definitely needs a 379 again. If somebody's got the money, we'll build whatever you want to build, brother. But I'm, I'm just changing the way I do things up. I'm going to quit putting all my money out for other people's stuff and focus on us and our stuff. And um, we're getting rid of anything that we don't use. Anything that ain't for the channel is getting sold. And we're going to invest all of that money into the towing business and new projects. A lot's happening with a bigger shop. Like there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that we're trying to make happen. So there'll be some stuff coming up for sale. Um, a lot of new stuff coming in. A lot of stuff happening with the towing company. A lot of stuff happening with the big boats. And um, we're just, we're changing some things around. We were fighting a losing battle on some things and like we had some really bad luck for about a month, month and a half. You guys seen the boats get wrecked. We literally, I just had to pay $13,000 for a truck, literally a truck getting rubbed in the parking lot of a pilot. Um, just stupid stuff like that. Just dumb accidents. Um, so I slowed things down, kind of put my foot down, reorganizing and trying to, I got a good clear mind right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I am a lot happier lately. Like, gazillion times happier. I was going to come around and show you guys the green Coronado. We just got this thing back. She is looking good, too. I'll do a video on this as soon as possible. Look at that thing. God, she's beautiful. Brother, I ain't jealous of nobody. I've got my own trucking company. I've got my own towing business. I own my own wreckers. I own my own stuff. I'm my own person. I have to answer to nobody except the good Lord above. So Tim's happy, and I'm happy for everybody else. Anybody that succeeds in life, anybody that can better their life, I am super happy for everybody. I know a lot of people think that I'm jealous for Bruce going to work with Fitzgerald and them buying that rotator and stuff. Guys, that only benefits me. So I'm happy for Bruce and that opportunity he's getting. Um, you know, it brings him to Tennessee. We can collab on stuff. We can do projects together. We can do stuff with FCR. Um, if I need a rotator, there's a rotator I can get. So um, super happy. You will never see Tim jealous of anybody's success. I mean, I'm all for somebody being successful. That's an awesome opportunity. If I didn't have this business and this towing company going and all that stuff, I'd probably be over there trying to join them. But we will be doing a lot of stuff with them. And we will probably combine towing companies and help each other out and all that good stuff. And Robert's a super humble guy. He will not, he, he don't want to step on nobody's toes and he wants to help other people just like I do. So... When you bring those type of people together, all it equals is success. Um, yeah, somebody go and just block that YouTube. 
is awesome. That's just a stupid comment. Mike H, I don't owe the bank anything. <clears throat> Miles on the Coronado engine. I was getting ready to go look at that. We do plan on doing an SH tube grill in... Um, uh, the Coronado. Sorry, right, guys, I'm trying to catch up on the comments. Robert, yes, I will help them. If they need help, I will definitely help them as much as they need help. Holly is in the house, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me just, I'm going to do that actually. Scott, that is not the same rotator. That is a, uh, that truck's got an X15 and all that in it. The rotator I'm looking to buy is a glider. Now, one million subscribers would get me to shave my beard, but it would have to happen like like 30 days. If I get a million subscribers in 30 days, I'll shave the beard. Uh, let's see. Anyway, comments are coming in fast. Sorry, guys. No, I, just a million. If it hits a million in 30 days, I will definitely shave my beard. It has to happen in 30 days from today, though. I can't believe I even agreed to that. But I'll shave it or I'll delete the YouTube account. I'd, golly bum, I'd hate to go to match with no facial hair. Guys, nobody's missing. Let's see how many miles this thing's got on that engine. I think it's about 100,000. Let's see, we put it in here, it had one point. So 100 and, yeah, over 100,000. We got 100,000 miles on the new engine. Are you going to show us 
Leo, we showed the show truck in the first of the video. Can you show us your white Mustang? I'll show the white Mustang in the truck one more time and then we'll finish up this live. It's already been 75 minutes. Oh yeah, definitely excited when I got that truck. Let's see here. All right, Mustang, one more time. I guess there's a lot of new people in here. Yeah, I gotta call Rob back too. So it's got a Fab 9 rear end in it now. Full, it's got a three quarter chassis. 25.3 um, Pro Mod. You know, it's got a big nasty roll cage in it. Keep me safe. If we go sixes at 200, I ain't gonna, you know, hopefully die in it. I don't wanna die in it. So if something was to happen, I wrecked. We got a big roll cage now. Funny car cage. I don't think I opened the hood earlier. So, new tubular front end, all that good stuff. Guys, the classic is here because it had a blowed up motor. We just finished the motor in it. Steve was driving the Mac. He's probably at home working on his cab over right now. Uh, we could probably do something like that. Yes, the Mustang's been back aft. It's full chassis now. One more walk around. Cat motor is definitely better than X15, but Detroit's my favorite motor. <clears throat> so a couple upgrades. Um, we're working on the interior, got the dash in it. Now most people have already seen this, but if you're new to the live, We've got it wired up. We're getting ready to hook all the wires up, put the front end on the motor, turbo manifold, radiator in it, and we're gonna start it up hopefully in the next day or so. Um, still gotta put this side on. We just got the door panel hooked up today. So you gotta wire the doors up. I got a harness built for them. We gotta wire them up. Guys, nothing has happened to Steve. His truck was blowed up. And I can't afford to have that. That's a big motor in that classic. And it's just, it's not been working out as an over the road truck. So I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I'm gonna spend some time with it and see if I can make it as good as Rooster, you know, like reliable. So that's the first 14 liter I've had experience with as far as me owning it and having a driver in it. And it's just been nothing but a pain in the butt since the beginning. Always something worked, you know, going wrong with it as far as we fought injectors, we fought, it just busted a piston. So we rebuilt it once again. Guys, the haters just say what they want on nothing getting done on that truck. I'd like to see if 
That's what I want to do. Like any of the haters that want to come and walk in my shoe, just follow me around for one day. One day for 12 hours. If they can do that, they can. It is. It won't happen. I got more. I got more man in one leg than them haters have in their whole body. I'm gonna make a shirt that says that. I just came up with that actually. There's this one guy that really talks a lot of crap. He got kicked off the other day for making a comment about Braxton. I told him he could come visit us at the shop. Let's see if this thing will fire up. I ain't even test drove it yet. It's got a Detroit in it. First time it's been out of the parking lot since we got it done. Dang 
gets way better. I it ain't ever ran that good. It's way better than it was. Oh no, rooster would eat this thing alive. I don't know, it'd be, it just depends really, I guess. I don't know, it'd be, I guess I need to find out. I don't want to answer that question. This thing runs pretty good. No, oh, your truck, yeah, your truck would smoke this and the rooster. Still good oil pressure. It's even got a different sound to it.
switch this thing over to DDEC4 injectors and ECM. I really, I really think it's that's what our. I've just not had any luck out of this DDEC5 ECM. It's 1,000 times better. It's just. I don't know. It's like it's not. to it and go run it. Turn the tail bobtail. I think it's what I'm gonna do is just put a DDEC4 ECM and I've had it no this thing's had I've changed ECMs I've done I've retuned it twice it's got new injectors in it again no it's a DDEC5 we can switch over DDEC4 pretty easy but I'm just gonna run it for a little bit myself and just see, I'll figure it out. I've just not had time to run it. I drove it to uh, Utah one good time and that's it. now that's definitely better which I think if I turned it way down like 500 horse or something it would not even be noticeable um, it's probably about 700 now I have not changed the throttle position sensor. Yep, guys, I think we have been on here for 90 minutes. Holy crap. And I've got to go edit a video. God, she is pretty though. So guys, this thing blew an engine and literally had oil all over it. You know, a lot of people asked how it was doing with the, um, you know, holding oil in the paint and stuff. Let me show you guys. It actually ain't too bad. Cause it had oil all over it and it come right off. Holly is in the house. All right guys, so we're gonna sign off. Been a good live stream. We'll have you a video out tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you then. I love you guys.